Esta es una presentación especial de Promo Estéreo. No te despegues, iniciamos. Hello, hello, good morning, good morning, my dear friends. I am so happy that we can be here this lovely Monday with a lot of energy, you know, because it's important for us to raise our vibrations, our frequencies, every time that we have this opportunity to practice, you know, to be more conscious, to be more present in the now, you know. For me, it's so important to keep encouraging and inspiring people to have this practice, no? to be more conscious what you are doing, how you're living, you know, why you're living. And we are so happy this morning that you can join us here, here on, on English, you know, all the way from Mexico City for all the people that listen to us throughout Mexico, throughout the world now that we're connected with technology. It's amazing, right? And I'm so happy that, you know, I can have this great opportunity you know, to be here on Promo Estéreo, you know, to be part of this great community, this great community that comes here to transmit Monday to Sunday, you know, uh, what we love to do, you know, because it's about service, you know. I believe that whenever you have a purpose in life and you do that to serve people, it's not about you anymore. And little by little, you will learn that everything that you do, it's service-oriented. And if something doesn't happen the way you would like it, you just tell yourself, not yet. I'm not there yet. I'm on my way. And you change, you know, the philosophy about living, the reason to live, the purpose to live. And when you have this mentality, this mindset, every time more and more, you start to... Um, live this way. You know, you wake up in the morning to serve. You, you do everything in a service mindset. I mean, even when you nurture yourself, even when you eat, you know, everything you do, you, you know that you're just doing it for life, you know, because you are important. And that's why you need to take care of yourself because when any one of us is sick, everybody's sick. When every one of us is joyful, you know, every one of us are joyful and happy. And that is about what life is about. You know, it's about knowing that everything that you and I and each and every one of us is doing, it's with a purpose, to make others happy. Because making others happy is because you are happy already. Everything that you do to yourself, you will always do to others. So when you know to love yourself, when you know to make yourself happy, when you know to inspire yourself, you can inspire others. It starts always with you. And here on this beautiful platform, here on, on English, it's about being on, not off. It's about every day knowing that our routines, yeah, that our future is hidden in our daily routines. What are your daily routines? What do you do every day will dictate how your future is going to be. So if we start to include English every day a little bit in our routines, we will start to have English in the future. And as I say, we cannot do it in a boring, difficult way. We have to change that mindset. We need to re reprogram ourselves. You know, self-articulation, articulate ourselves again and have a new mindset about English, a new philosophy. I will practice, I will practice what I will use so that you know that whatever you're practicing, you will use it in the future. Do it smartly. Do it intelligently this time. You know, English is not a difficult language. 
you know, I learned English myself. I mean, maybe I was born in a society, in a community, in a household where I heard it, but not because you hear and you have that hearing impair, because everybody can hear, but that doesn't make you a teacher or a student, a great student, because being a teacher and being a student is about paying attention, it's about focusing. So for me, when I became a teacher and I started to notice how the language functions, I started to find my way of learning the language. And I started to familiarize and see what is important in the language. And I started to notice also what the students want to learn when I became a teacher. And how is the right way for me to keep encouraging, inspiring, and motivating my students to keep doing what they would like to get or what they would like to become. So for me, every day is encouraging, inspiring, and motivating with love, with empathy. Because, I mean, there's many people that have always wanted to speak English, but maybe they can because with a lot of respect, the, 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 the message that you are sending out, the message that you are telling yourself about English maybe is not helping you, is not supporting you. So what you need to do is check your story. Check your beliefs about English. Check what are the reasons why you would like to be bilingual in English. And then start to work on it. Start every day, little by little, making the action, taking the right actions to learn in every step on the way how it operates. We don't know how it operates. It operates in the moment that you are learning. I cannot tell you, yes, you're going to be bilingual in eight months or in a year and a half. That is up to you how much you want it, how much you pay attention, how much you practice every day. You know, how, how, how you use your own intelligence. As we say, there's lots of intelligence. Maybe you are auditive, you're kinesthetic. Maybe you're a person that likes to use your hands. You know, you're more using your body language. You're more of a writer. You're more of a listener, like myself. You know, and you start to use your own intelligence to get this goal. You know, to, 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 to serve people and do what you love in a much better way. Today, everybody knows that speaking two languages or three languages, you have more opportunities. And this is what this program is about. It's about sharing our passion, our work, with love, with a lot of inspiration and motivation for you, our listeners, our community. And it's in English. Can feel motivated and say, Wow, it's a new philosophy. It's a new way to see it. I don't have to study anymore. I will start to find what is needed. And what do I need? Where do I start, Coach Adolf? Well, I will tell you, right here, maybe you cannot see it because we're on radio, but I have here some cups that I design, and on every cup I have the name of one of the ingredients of English. You see, whenever you make a recipe, whenever you make a dish, you know, a very delicious Mexican dish, you know, like, for example, let's say a pozole or a mole or even, you know, a nice chicken soup. You know, you're not going to put in the pot anything. You have to know what ingredients you need to use and follow the recipe. 
Well, the same thing acquires to English or any language. We need to know that there is a recipe how to make that language, you know, a, a, a friendly one, a practical one, one that you can use, you know, that you can speak English. So, for example, we have here the word pronouns. In Spanish, it's called pronombres. You start to check in your memory what pronouns I have in English. You check, I mean, what are pronouns, first of all? Um, pronombres in Spanish? Maybe you are translating, it's okay, no problem. You're doing something, it's better than nothing. And then you start to ask yourself, what is a pronoun? Well, maybe I don't know exactly how, what is the significance or the function or the usage in a very formal and precise way, but maybe I can see examples. I can say, I, we, they, you know, and that is a good start. But then if you are really interested to do it right, I mean the right way, not the easy way or the common way, no, I want to learn really what this ingredient pronouns is all about and what is the functionality and what is the usage and how I can apply it in my English. And then you will get to know that pronouns are words that replace nouns to avoid repetition. And there are lots of different kinds of pronouns. For example, subject pronouns, possessive pronouns, object pronouns, reflexive pronouns, reciprocal pronouns, indefinite pronouns, you know? And I start to learn them in a very friendly and practical way, but always knowing that it will serve a purpose. It has a purpose. And what is the purpose? That I will be able to communicate in English with people and we can have a better life. And we can enjoy life in many ways. You know, pleasure, work, you know, vacations, culture, you know, um, music, whatever. But know that when I dominate this first ingredient called pronouns, it has a purpose. Then I go to the next one. The next one is called preposition. In Spanish, it's preposiciones. And yeah, it's a word that shows us the time. At 10 o'clock is when we are on the air. It shows us the place at Orb Network. Here is in Mexico City on Tehuantepec Street, you know? And yeah, we start to use these ingredients and we start to learn them and familiarize with them. Don't study them. And whenever you don't know or you don't notice that you are learning or you're advancing, as I said, don't take anything personal anymore in life. Know that you are connected with people, with humanity, and it's not about you anymore. It's about life. If you're happy, everybody's happy. If everybody's happy, we are all happy. And that is the way that we need to change in 2024. That is the mindset or the mindfulness that we are practicing every day, more and more, to have that mindfulness that you're here to serve, not to be identifying with everything that happens to you. Enjoy every experience. Enjoy every opportunity. Be grateful for everything that happens to you. But know what is your main purpose is to serve. And when I mean serve, I don't mean to go about and finding what, how to serve people. Just by being a nice person, a kind, respectful person, a person that is disciplined, a person that is mannerful, a person that is empathic, a person that is respectful, a person that inspires others with who they are, what they do, and how they do it. 
That is serving, you know, and not working. If we don't change that philosophy, we're going to continue living with conditions and unconscious programming. And that's why it is important for us every day for us to be our own coaches, our own teachers, and remind us every day what is our purpose, my dear friends. So as you notice, today I am giving you a lot of tips as a coach teacher. And yes, this program is about that. It's not about teaching English and studying English. It's about inspiring and motivating and accompanying you as a coach, as an institution that is going to always inspire you and motivate you for you to do it by yourself. We're not going to do it for you. You have to be the one who's going to get inspired by all the content and the material that we give to you. And with that, you're going to create it on your own. You see, we don't tell people what to do. We inspire people to do the things on their own. And I am that kind of coach and teacher. Every master class that we come here to present to you every Monday at 10 o'clock is for you to get inspired. It's for you to be motivated. It's for you to say, wow, I can do that now. I can start small like what Coach Adolf says. I can start with the verbs, common verbs like wake up, get up, listen, pay attention, you know, hurry, drink, eat, and you are already talking in English. Check your pronunciation, check your intonation, check the stress that you are giving to the word. And the next week you start with phrases now, common phrases, like at my work, at the office, at the mall, at the hospital. And then you continue with other common phrases. But as I said, the secret of our success and our future is hidden or it's found in our day-to-day -day routines. Check your routines. Are your routines the same? Then that is going to be your future. But if every day you start to improve something in your routines, you know, then you will have a better future. You know, anything that you want to improve, improve it little by little. Today, 1%. Tomorrow, 1.1%. The next day, 1.3%, depending how I feel too. But be disciplined to be constant, everyday constant. I will tell you that I work today in a company, and I have worked in this company for five months. And the director of human resources asked me last week, hey, teacher Adolf, you never get sick. You never arrive late. I never hear any complaint about your classes. In the contrary, I see that everybody loves what you do. And you know, I say, because it is possible, my friend. Whenever you are checking your routines, your daily habit, your customs, you just do it in automatic. And it's nice that you can notice that. So yes, it's how we practice our daily routines. It's what time we wake up, how we wake up, and paying attention to our feelings and emotions. You know, as I said, emotional intelligence starts with being empathic. It's about being caring. And that is first with yourself. So whenever you wake up in the morning and you notice that you're having a hard time to get up and practice or do some meditation or do some exercise, feel sorry for yourself and say, I don't like to be like this. You know, and I love myself. 
and I care for myself, and I will start to change that mentality. Because if I don't do it for myself, how will I be able to be emphatic with other people? So I inspire myself every day to do some reading, to do some meditation, to do some listening, you know, to get up every morning and take a cold shower, you know, and train my mind and my body to, you know, to withstand the cold water on my body, you know, and, and, and all of these things are, are so important that we practice them more and more, you know, my friends. So, yes, on this master class, my coaching will be that you start to find the nine ingredients of English. Practice the entire week that. One day you do one, the next day you do two, the next day you do one, the next day you do two. And I will give them to you. The first one are called articles. Articles. The next one is adjectives. The next ones are adverbs. The next one are verbs. The next ones are nouns. Then we have pronouns. Then we have conjunctions. Then we have interjections. You see, these nine ingredients are so important, including the pronouns too. Know them. Be familiar with them. Know what they are used for. What is the functionality of them? And then you'll be able to mix them. So if I have a noun and a pronoun or an adjective and a noun, I can start to combine them. Like if I say, my radio station or my uh, radio program, I'm using a possessive adjective. I'm using an adjective, which is radio. And then I'm using a program, which is a, a noun. So you see, it's so amazing whenever we can know, be familiarized with our, with our parts of speech or our ingredients in English, you know? And not just know them, but express them too with your five abilities. Speaking, listen, listening, writing, and reading them. You listen to yourself when you say, hi, 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 hi. You see, you can express yourself in different forms, in different tonations, in an informal sound or in a formal sound, in a polite sound or in an impolite sound. And you can start to use your voice to express yourself. And that is how you go about every day. And put it in your routine, as I said. Every day in your routine. You know? And then start to say, okay, I know everything in Spanish. So let's start to find everything around us in English. You know, my computer, my keyboard, my speakers, you know, the table, the chair, the floor, the wall, the ceiling. I start to find the names around my environment, my atmosphere. You know, it feels hot today. It feels warm today. What is the difference? Well, hot, I cannot resist it. So warm, yeah, I can resist warm. So the best one is warm. And you start to just check what are the things that you need, you know? And don't, or you can start to repeat like, gracias, thank you, perdón, I'm sorry, disculpa, forgive me, you know? Bienvenido, welcome, uh, un minuto, one minute, you know, and you start to practice like that. And that is something that you are doing in your routine. And every day when you remember to do it, it's not just what happens outside. There is a function and a process happening within you. Just when you remind that you need to practice today, you are creating chemicals and you structure yourself and you function that way. And every day you start to do it like that and know that there is a process that is called plasticity. And that is all, all about, you know, about what we are talking about here on this wonderful master class about knowing 
what we need, not what we have to study. What I need in my lexic, what I need in my memory, so that I have a better perception in English, a better intuition, so that I use my willpower much more. And all of that is part of wishing every day and manifesting what you really want. Manifesting that you are bilingual in English. Okay? Thank you so much for listening to me. I am so happy for this first three programs, these three first master classes, and we're so happy to be here in Promo Stereo, and we're so grateful. So thank you so much to everybody that makes this program possible, and I'll see you next Monday at the same time. Have a beautiful week, and I'll talk to you soon. Your friend, Coach Adolf. Goodbye. Espéranos la próxima semana. Escúchanos por Promo Estéreo. Donde la estrella eres tú.